All right, this is it for week two. Let me quickly wrap up um, what we've covered today. First, we have imported data from an Excel file into R. If you want to import other types of data sets, there is information online. The link, as always, is posted in the description in the course. Um, so we've imported data from uh, Excel into R, and then we started exploring it, right? We looked at the whole data set, what's in there. We learned about different data types and different types of variables that exist. And then we actually looked at them and looked at the frequency distributions of um, individual variables, looked at the summary um, of them. And lastly, we even created a little uh, cross tabulation where we compared different variables with each other. So this is it for today. Next week, we'll actually start manipulating data, right? We often have to change the data that's in the data set um, in order to use it for analysis. Um, imagine we have uh, an age variable in there from ages 0 to 100, but we actually need an age category variable where people are um, grouped into groups of age 0 to 10, 10 to 20, things like that. Um, imagine we want to kick out some variables, include others. We want to get rid of some of the students. For example, we don't want to deal with students in the economics department. We have to kick them out of the data set. Things like that. Basic data manipulation or data wrangling, as it's often called, will be covered next week. All right, now it's your turn. You can uh, practice what you've learned. We put together some exercises for you. Go to the online course uh, in section 3.6. Um, before, don't forget to download the data um, that's listed in uh, under section 3.4. The data is also made available in the link below in the description. But in section 3.6, we put together some exercises for you to really apply what you've learned, some, some very simple um, examples of uh, how you can transfer of what we covered in class to this data set. But then more importantly, we also put together some exercises for you to um, work with your own data set. And I want to stress how important this is. Now is the right time to identify a data set that you care about, that uh, some issue that you feel passionate about, maybe something you're covering in another class or something you're doing at work. It's it's so much easier and so much more fun to learn R when you actually immediately apply it to a data set that um, you need to analyze anyways. So that's the best way to do it. And we give you some pointers here in section 3.7 of the course in identifying a data set that you, you may like and you want to use throughout the remaining weeks of this course. We also, if you, if you don't have a data set, we also provide some um, examples for you of publicly available data sets that you can use throughout this course. So have fun with that. Um, lastly, uh, you know, I'm always just able to cover the, the tip of the iceberg in this course. It's an introductory course. I keep it very simple. Of course, there's a lot more you can do. And if you want to delve in deeper um, at this stage already, I provided some links for you under section 3.8 in the course. So many thanks and uh, see you next week.